front a lot. Final boss of nerdcore hip hop. I am here on G4 on Freestyle 101. I'm going to go into that booth. I am going to do my best not to embarrass myself and those who love me. One, two, one, two. One, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. One, two, one, two. Full stereo separation engaged. Nerd ho, warm the mic up, yo. We're about to strike up this band of nepishes who cultivate nebulous fetishes. The FPS, RPG, or MM Park, and the obsessions are blather over by blog or BBS. Step and possess, hold that geekishness. Your frame rate and frags that ain't both impress. And yes, your affinity for a certain side of some amusement, a classically adorned parlor of fun where you let loose pent up set pieces to partake of flicker dramas gets you branded a sniper, bitch, or rocket mom. I'm a humper, damn. They said you're cheating, but with coins in hand, you got more game than Will Wheaton. When's the MC about to get funny? I'm losing patience when I know how the pants contain one wang and two neck stations and a tandy hole where he plays whack-a-mole with the toilet paper. Front a lot, could rock the PA song at the lowest common denominator. Not as a hater of culture, a relaxer in class, but an expert of math. Accounting how the penny arcade owns your ass. Shout not run a little, cause I'm front a lot. I climbed Mount Sinai, got high at the top, through the clouds straight up. And the voice that I heard said, You were born to front. I said, Word, stumbled on back down, two tabs in my hand, chiseled little on the one that said, Don't be bad on the other one, or it be as bad as you like. That one under the tongue, and then I grappled the mic. All right, hear ye, hear ye, got some commandments. Number one is better make me a sandwich. MC front a lot could never freestyle. When I tried, the meltdown is reminiscent of an island called Three Mile or Cherry Noble. When I try to freestyle, the rhymes are awfully hobble, and that's horrible with a syllable missing. The kind of rhymes other MCs spend time dissing and making fun of. I'm the kind of rapper that you don't want to be one of. So now I got to go. Defensive front a lot. Attack of your show. Freestyle 101. Don't get your syllabus here. Did you read a pamphlet from a mailbox that urges low cunning? Offers cursor and prompt type running. You're running and parses what you tell it. Pronouns and tack abbreviations if you need them. Better keep it grammat. Better punctuate your sentences and never redact the name of anything ambiguous you're about to get axed. Do you mean the red one, the round one, the crooked, or the blue? Better keep that in your pocket, then yet what it could do could be the clue for solving riddles. If you didn't have to sleep, you know you'd never seek a quiddle. You'd be ever in the middle, in the midst of a quest. If it wasn't for dawn, the gown, you'd never get dressed in your underwear typing. Just like front keyboard attached up to my fingers, wrists bear the brunt. So I seek to do stunts simply through their descriptions. I think I went once to some sands that were Egyptian. Thanks, Grandpa, for buying it. Now my life's ruined. 22 years later, heads infested, got the gruin, pluin, sizzifying, trying to escape, but I can't. Cause I'm up and around and awake, and you are like Lee to be eaten. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. If this predicament seemed particularly cruel, consider whose fault it could be. Not a torch or a match in your inventory. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. If this predicament seemed particularly cruel, consider whose fault it could be. Not a torch or a match in your inventory. I'm getting exposed to freestyling and hip hop in the Bay Area. It was definitely like a, an environment rich in hip hop availability. Was there a big freestyling underground scene in the Bay Area? Probably. I would not have had access to it because I was like just a complete dork, which I remain. And cool kids tend to point me in a different direction if I approach where they are, if they, they could be freestyling or whatever. Where I live now in uh, New York, in Brooklyn, there are like, there are just 
little groups of folks on the street corners everywhere doing the most amazing freestyling and I pretend that I gotta like buy a soda and then I pretend that I have to like take my soda over here and then oh I drop my soda I gotta buy another soda and then I'll you know I'll eavesdrop on them they're really incredible it's like why are why is P Diddy on the radio when like these guys are doing it for free I just I just need to figure out how to wire a system of microphones and tubes and dump trucks to like get this data out to the people who would enjoy it if only they knew but luckily now we have internets to kind of realign the model from from music industry like offering us the most broadly appealing stuff to people hearing things that are interesting and sort of being like "Ooh, I heard that first it's mine and then now that makes me want to like give it to you and you and there's this whole push model of content where everybody's emailing each other like the awesomest new thing that they just heard the cream of that crop may rise into pop stardom just because what they're doing is so incredible that it can't be ignored I don't think I'll probably have anything to do with that but you can see that I predicted it when it happens and then maybe make me a plaque